But once you kind of get it warmed up, you're going to want to take a small piece because we're going to first make um, our ascending aorta with the arch and our descending aorta. So just make your, your little snake piece about three inches long or so. And bend it. And now you have your ascending aorta, your arch, and your descending aorta. See how easy that was? And if you don't like it, just start all over. Squish it back together. Start all over. So once you get that piece started, finished, you start working on the clay. Do we have um, the toothpicks? Pass out toothpicks. So we do have different tools that we use. I didn't bring all of the different tools. But we have some really nice wire tools. Um, a rolling piece. Uh, a, a plastic knife, uh, but you can use just your hands to form, and we can, we're going to use uh, toothpicks to actually draw just some general uh, vessels. Okay, so you've got your ball, and you kind of want to make it into a short, fat carrot. So you kind of want to start making it down into a carrot shape. And you can roll this on the mat if you would like. So right now we have just our one chamber heart, but we all know inside we truly have four chambers. So the upper part are the atria, and the two bottom mm -hmm. are the ventricles. And one ventricle is larger than the other, the left ventricle. And we're going to be able to see that hopefully when we build one of the arteries. Now the heart sits in your chest, and so one side is actually a little flatter than, the, so the dorsal side is flatter compared to the ventral side. So if you want to make it anatomically correct, push it down on your mat to make that side flat and rounded for the ventral side. So this is probably a little bigger than what we would build for the skeleton because you want to make it about the size of a fist. So you can really work on looking at different sizes um, of hearts. And one of the things that I've heard from other teachers is that in general, people make their muscles based on how big they think theirs are. So women tend to make theirs a little bit thinner. And guys tend to make theirs really big. But sometimes, sometimes those biceps are so big, they're literally falling off the of pure weight. I believe it. <laughs> All right, so has everyone pretty much got to this piece here? So which one part is flat? Can you the dorsal part. So just one side. Just make one side flat, and then the ventral side is going to be more rounded. So when you get to this, now you can add your aorta. You can either dig a little hole with your toothpick, and then just have it come around that little piece of aorta, and then arch it. Do this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
So we go to our, and then we pretty much everyone caught to this piece. So this is where, when we're building all of these, I have the students repeat to each other or test each other. What side is the ventral side? Why is the dorsal side flatter? Where's the ascending, ascending aorta versus the arch versus the descending? <coughs> How many chambers does the heart have? Why is one ventricle larger than the other? So while they're doing this, they can be testing each other at the same time. So what you're going to do now is take your toothpick, and if you have the ventral side facing you, then the left is truly the right side, right? So if you have trouble doing the opposite, you can start building it, having the heart facing you, as if it was in your chest. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the toothpick and draw or just carve a short line on the left side of the aorta onto the heart and start getting your left coronary artery. So we're carving in vessels, but really these would be, a, you know, if you wanted to make the heart a muscle, you would really make it with the brown clay and then the vasculature you would do with the red. So this is how you can keep some of those things color coordinated for your students. So does everybody have their left main artery or their left coronary artery <coughs> carved in? So then we'll make the left anterior descending artery and you'll just take a branch off of the off of the, uh, the left main and bring it down on the front or the ventral side. And this is where you can really start talking about heart disease with students or with people that you're uh, helping make or teaching this program to. So now you have two arteries already, right? You have the left main, and now the left anterior, so it's on the anterior side, it's descending downward artery. Next, we're gonna build the circumflex. So off of the left main, you wanna come down and around not all the way to the back of the heart, but start building that circumflex so that it circums or goes around toward the dorsal side. And so those are three main arteries on the left side of the heart. Now we're going to work on the right side. So the right, you want to make the right coronary artery coming off of the right side of the aorta. Coming down and laterally. And this is the RCA right coronary artery. And then when you bring it around to the dorsal side, it makes the posterior interventricular artery. It goes straight down the posterior side. And if you do it, you can actually see that the left side, the left ventricle, should be bigger than the right ventricle. So that it's anatomically correct. So we really break these words down for the students, you know, so they can, it helps them really remember too. So intervening between ventricles, the two ventricles, 
And it tells you exactly where this artery lies. It's on the posterior side between the two ventricles, and that's an artery, also known as the right posterior descending artery. So there you have a very simple clay heart. There's a lot more that you can add to it. You can add pulmonary veins. You can add pulmonary arteries. You can add fat. And it's a way to really start just uh, playing with clay. And if you didn't like what you did, you can just, like I said, start all over.